Hi there, welcome. This is Greg Mears, and I want to share with you today uh, a lesson I learned about this time last year. I had been a business consultant for approximately five and a half to six years, and I was a contractor, so when work was available, I took it because you never knew when the next contract was going to come. Subsequently, I ended up working around the clock uh, for five and a half, six years straight with no downtime, no vacation. And I was just killing myself and uh, making great money, but I just was not enjoying life. And uh, so I saw saw some pictures of a cool place, uh, El Nindo Palawan in the Philippines, that I put on my bucket list and decided, hey, when I get some time, I wanna I'm gonna visit there and take some take some vacation time there. So uh, I actually got that opportunity this time last year, and I went there for a month. And uh, what you're seeing are pictures from the bungalow that I stayed in, the views that I had while while sitting on the front uh, front porch of that bungalow. And you know, the lesson here is. You know, I made the trend once I once I took that vacation and saw what life had to offer and realized, you know, what I was doing was just not healthy. And so what I've done, I, I basically really reconditioned and, re, and and transformed my whole life to the point where now I am my source of income it comes from the internet. Uh, a variety of multi- multiple streams of income. Um, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not rich, but I do pretty well. And what it affords me, it affords me good friends. It affords me, uh, I can travel wherever I want to, whenever I want to. And and so that's what I do. And I use the internet to fund um, all the, the cool travel places I get to go. And so, you know, it was these pictures and this was just kind of a reminder for me that you know working hard for somebody else so they can get rich it's just not smart however you know I, I am a I am a hard worker and I do have ethics so if you are working for somebody you have to do the best job you possibly can do however there's no better person in the world than than to do that for yourself and my recommendation to you if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence uh, and you want to become an entrepreneur, uh, you know, identify that, identify your passion, and figure out a way to make it happen. If I can do it, anybody can do it, and it's not that hard. Success leaves clues, and there's a lot of people out there that are doing it, um, just like me. There's people out there do, that are that are much more successful than me, you know. But I'm okay. I'm happy with what I have, I, you know. You know, I'm really. Because of all my travel, I've become very minimalistic. And, you know, that might be, you know, you might want to do well with your own online business to to buy things. That may be your, your, your thing to do. It's not mine. I'd rather, you know, throw all my stuff in a duffel bag and jump on a plane and go somewhere cool. So anyway, you know, lesson learned is identify your passion and do it for yourself. And uh, hopefully, you know, this is just, I just turned the mic on. And started talking. It's completely unscripted. I hope, hopefully, I make sense and I add some value. And hopefully, we, uh, you know, we can we can reengage and and continue this conversation um, uh, on, on social media. So, hopefully, you have a, an awesome day. And I look forward to talking to you and, and engaging with you very soon. Thanks. Bye.